Good morning guys, I hope you're having a beautiful day today. Today is a great day for me. But first, let's do some skincare going in with some hyaluronic acid. I think that's what this is. It's it's a hydrating serum, so hydrating hyaluronic acid. It's the same thing. No, I could be wrong. Someone correct me. You know how people like get separate towels and they actually buy those disposable towels that they use for their face only to keep you know your face clean you're actually supposed to apply products like your serums and stuff to a wet face so you don't even need to dry your face so i don't understand what the world is doing some vitamin c brightening eye cream because i don't know if i have on dark under eye circles or i just have then skin under my eye that's like kind of collagen has kind of faded away which creates a shadow to make it look like i have dark under eye circles because i don't know what do you guys think let me know but again i'm not a big fan of the drunk elephant products but they were sent to me and i'm like let me try them out so i am trying them out and then once i'm done i probably won't be repurchasing so you already know Make sure it will smell all day, you know? You already know it's aluminum free because why would you use aluminum, guys? Why? But I've tried a few aluminum free deodorants. I like this one the best. I hate the native one. Like I literally detest it. Like if I could burn it, I would burn it, but I can't. So, and that'd be pointless. I've been using the secret brand forever. I used to use the the liquid one, like you know, like the jelly one, like the gel comes out, but that has aluminum in it and that they don't have aluminum free one. This is the only aluminum free one that they have. Moisturizer in this non-aesthetic container. I need to order my moisturizer because this is all I have left. But if you're wondering, and you probably already know, it is the Kiehl's moisturizer. Should we reveal what the towel looks like? Don't know why I'm using a white towel, but today it's looking like this. Better than last time. Definitely better than last time. No, I'm not supposed to keep my hair up like this. I'm trying to keep it down for a little bit longer. How do you know how to talk about this? Okay, so as you guys know, I am having a baby, which means there is a baby shower that is due. Uh, a lot of my close people have asked me if I want them to take over, if I want them to help. I can't. I can't do it. I can't let them have that responsibility because I'm I'm not picky, but I have very high expectations because when I see something in my mind and it doesn't look like that, I get very, like I don't get upset. I just get very disappointed. So that's why a lot of the things that I do, I don't ask for help because no one can do it how I can do it. A few of my friends are helping me getting some things done like phone calls, bookings, and stuff like that, just because I can't talk to people. I can't talk to people, but I'm very bad at talking to people, and that's just like a task that just kind of gives me anxiety. So kudos to my friend Roshni for hooking it up, man. She made all the phone calls for me. It's a good friend. Today, I think we have found a venue for the baby shower. It was very hard because it's on a Saturday that we want to do it on, and we don't want to do a typical like you know girls only daytime baby shower vibe. We want to do like a whole event kind of vibe, like more towards the evening. So my mom and I are gonna go check out this venue today. Hopefully, it's exactly what we need and want. For me, I think it's best to invest in a venue that already kind of looks nice, so you don't have to pay more for decor to cover it all up. You can save money like where you can. You know, you just gotta you gotta be you gotta be a little bit smart. So. We're gonna go check out the venue today. I'm really excited. Let me know down below if you know any vendors actually in the GTA that would want to work with me or that you highly recommend because I've been out of the whole event planning wedding scene. Ever since I used to do cakes, I was in the scene, so I knew everyone and I knew all vendors. But now, like since I've been out of it for so long, I don't know the vendors that are available or like what's out there. Let me know down below if you have any friends or family. I would love to work together let me know also let them know hit me up send me an email i'm very excited i'm very tired but i'm very excited let's quickly get ready and dry this hair do this face or do this face and then dry this hair and get to the venue
guys, so we are all ready. I was going to blow dry my hair, but I'm loving the fact that my head feels so calm and so at peace. And I can't be asked to deal with the heat and the pulling and tugging of a blow dryer vibe right now. So we are going to just leave my hair like this. My hair, when I was born, was like really tiny ringlets, like very curly. But over the years, my hair has become, you know, from all the coloring and heat and all that stuff. Kind of a hot mess, but I'm kind of feeling the front curl vibe going on right now. So I might just leave my hair like this, let it breathe. The sun's out. It's all good, you know, like gotta let the natural breathe sometimes. We are on the way to the venue. I'm gonna see if I can show you because I don't want to obviously show it to you before because then you're gonna know where it is and obviously you can't know where it is because then you guys are just gonna show up. So mom's driving. Are you excited? Yes. Yes, excited? She's so excited. excited. She's so cute. So what happened was her blood pressure has been really high recently. And then um, she went for, she's like, I'm going to go for a little walk to like, bring it down. And she never came back. So then I took Banksy to take him for a walk to see if I can find her laying around on the street somewhere. But she ended up going to like my aunt's house. So she was fine. But obviously the worry is there. And she didn't take her phone with her. She's like, well, I'm like, I guess. <laughs> she thinks it's funny. It's a serious matter. I come out of the shower and she's still missing. My goodness gracious. Good morning, guys. I am, I'm just growing now. It's just, okay, so yesterday, okay, wait, before I start, I'm just gonna go through the shelf and just kind of like get some stuff done while I talk to you guys. Let me clear out these shelves. I'm gonna make two piles. One is to take to our house pile and one is to donate or remove pile. Like just get it out of this house pile in a different area, not our house. You get the point. But anyways, so yesterday we went to, we actually ended up going to like four different venues only because we had time and I was like, let's just see our options. The other thing with me was, oops, these nursing books. I had an attachment with these. I don't know. I don't think I need them anymore because I'm like, one day I'll have kids and then if they get sick, I can self-diagnose them. You know, I'm like, I'm not going to look in here. I'm probably going to just Google it. So we ended up looking at four venues because I'm like, why don't we just look for options but the only thing with me was i originally wanted a venue that um was more on like outdoor kind of tent vibes where it's like the the, the, the roof is like see-through kind of thing and you can see you no know, because like you'll get to see the sunset and it's just like nice and airy but when i want to have the baby shower it's apparently too early for them to have their outdoor venues open in the locations i was looking um which is so sad because the venues are so pretty or my party is too small for the size that it holds so we're looking at obviously like indoor places so we went to go check out like four halls and the thing with me and halls oh i want to keep this one the thing with me and banquet halls is just that they give me factory vibes and i don't like the carpet but what i didn't know is a lot of the places now they've removed the carpet and it's like hardwood now which is kind of nice but i was looking again like i said earlier i don't know if i mentioned this i was looking for a venue where you can take pictures outside and inside so you don't have to go to like two locations so um we went to go look at four venues we did pick one and i put a deposit down and yeah so the venue's confirmed so exciting and it was so funny when we we're picking out like the menu and stuff like that because mom is not here so i had to take my mom and then i was asking my mom questions about like oh my god do you want this or do you want this like it's her event because like i don't know what it is with my mom like wherever we go any party or whatever we have there just has to be enough food obviously that's like the main thing you always have to have enough food but then it's like she sees things at different parties and she's like oh are you gonna have this are you gonna have that are you gonna have that but the difference is like this is not a wedding reception it's a baby shower so things are a bit different so that was so funny the venue's only for 80 people but somehow i was making a list yesterday uh, I made a list with me and Amin first and then I made a list with my parents and somehow we're over 20 people So I'm gonna have to make these invites as soon as possible and see who's gonna confirm and who is not going to confirm So then I'll have an idea of like how many people will have Okay, so for the theme of the baby shower I don't know yet because I don't know if I want to go for like a neutral theme or if I want to do the color of the gender theme or if I want to do like a mix of everything i know what the vibe is of the inside of the venue so i'm trying to work with that so you don't need excessive decor like i mentioned i'm so indecisive like this is the hard part like to figure out uh, what to do i don't know i'm gonna figure it out soon because even the guy when i was booking the venue he's like i'm surprised you left it this late to book a venue i gotta figure out the theme and then i get to the fun stuff so it's like i gotta do like the party favors gotta figure out the games i love designing like the games and like the question cards and posters and everything on my own like the invitations i'm gonna wait i'm gonna make the invitations today so i'm really excited for all of that i'm a photoshop girl so i I love like creating cool designs and stuff like that oh my god is this my high school graduation picture thingy oh my god guys i graduated high school in 2009 i was so tiny 
Oh my god, I forgot half these people even existed. I saw this cool idea where instead of having like a table or tables on the side with like all the games and like the little activities, you can even just put the cards on the table and then put like a like a custom pen with it. So people can just like while they're sitting there and chilling and like waiting for in between moments to pass, they can just like fill out the cards in their own comfort. They don't have to get up and walk around. Because I know if you're like me, I'm mad lazy. I hate doing the walking around part. So I'm like, oh my god, that's such a cute idea. And like, you know, you can get all these things done and customized way ahead of time. You gotta figure out like little party favors and like the prizes for the games we got the games that involve the guys and girls because it's an event that has both guys and girls so it'll be so much fun oh my guys this is so cute so when me and i got engaged they um put our engagement video onto these two usb these are actually custom usbs like look so it's like that they're like usbs they're so cute i feel like we could probably use these for like other things after like if i transfer the files and then they put them in this like really cute box with like our initials on it just so long ago i'm definitely keeping that obviously i'm gonna end this vlog here i know we didn't do much but talking about this baby shower and nailing down a venue was probably the most productive thing because i've been trying to look for a venue for the past three weeks and not even that let me just tell you guys planning a baby moon so i'll talk about that in another vlog i feel like every month or something and then the baby's gonna come it's wild like it's so crazy how fast time is going by anyways enough of me rambling i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog if you have any tips or like tricks on like venues and you know how to bring outside vendors and you know things like that or any suggestions or things that people have at baby showers these days or anything let me know down below in the comment section i do read your comments i do want to sit down and like respond to a lot of them i just haven't had the chance because i'm trying to keep up with the content and then i get tired and then like it's a lot but i do read the comments so please 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 let me know down below i love hearing from you guys i love reading your comments other than that remember always stay gold and i'll see you guys the next one. Mwah.